hey what up people this is your man fred welcome you to my channel all right so without wasting much time i told you in the last video that we're going to be treating uh, examples on tangents on application of tangents and tangency and this is the first example we're going to be um, looking at so this is um the head of a spanner okay i want to believe you're all used to a wrench okay um or a spanner as the case may be so i'm going to teach you how to draw this but before you can be able to you know project this panel you should have um the basic knowledge of tangents and tangency if you haven't done that there are uh, two videos i uploaded previously part one and part two on uh, tangents and tangency now the principle of tangency we are going to apply to drawing this so if you have not seen those videos or if you have no knowledge of oh, sorry on the principle of tangency you might want to go and see those videos and uh, come back to this very one so you would know um, some of the moves we'll be making you know in terms of um, applying the principles to projecting or drawing or designing this uh, spanner head all right so let's start up now uh, i'm just going to take a few seconds study this very well the dimensions hope you can see that very clearly all right so if you can take a screenshot that will be fine so how do we go about this all right let's start now we're going to start by first of all drawing um, you see the center line here? We're going to draw it. Just draw a thin line as your center line. So I'm going to do just that. Now, before we move on, I'm going to draw this part, okay? Then your assignment will be to draw the other side. No spanner usually have two sides, a head on this side and a head on the other side. So I'm going to give you the length to use and you will draw the other side of the head. All right, so let's start. So you draw a thin line. Just draw a thin line um like this i hope that's clear enough good now the next thing you do is now if you check very closely this angle is 30 degrees all right so you are going to draw a line 30 degrees to this line okay at any convenient point of your choice 30 degrees okay okay so pick a point say here all right now align the center of your set oh, sorry of your protractor with that point you made like this align it properly and ensure that this line these horizontal lines on uh, the protractor are aligning with the straight line while the point is there so we're going to measure 30 degrees so this is 30 here all right so we're going to connect this 30 this point here with this one we measured at the beginning. Draw a thin line. Okay. Alright. So this angle is 30 degrees. Let's move on. Now. Okay. So next is we're going to draw this line. And this line. And the distance between these two, these two parallel lines is what? 40 all right so what we're going to do is that we're going to look for a reference line like a perpendicular line we're going to drop a perpendicular line any convenient okay let's assume no let's drop it at this point here it's just a guideline so align your set square make sure your set square is perpendicular like this all right perpendicular all right so support with your ruler and slide to this point here we just want to draw a guideline there okay so just draw a line here it's just a guideline all right so this line is perpendicular to this line so the distance here is 40 all right 40 so that means we're going to measure 40 like this so half of it will be 20 the other half will be 20 that's 40 so we are line 2 with this point here on the line okay dot zero here so from here to here is 20 then from here to here is 20 that makes it 40 so you dot zero and you dot four i hope that's clear all right so i'm going to transfer i'm going to transfer lines parallel lines to these two points here all right so i will align my set square with this line here make sure it's properly aligned 
So you transfer a line to this point where you measured 40. Just a thin line for now. Transfer to this other point here where you measured 40 as well. And transfer a thin line for now. So the distance between these two lines is 40. All right. Good. Now, next thing is, if you look very closely, this radius here is 23. All right. So that means, and we're told where to strike it from. So you need only a stretch 23 and just draw an arc to cut these two parallel lines you drew. So what you do next is stretch 23 on your pair of compass. This is 20. Three on the dots, okay. Not a bit of adjustment there, okay. So this is 23, that's 2.3. The needle here at the center and draw an arc to just touch these two parallel lines, like this. Okay. So we have that already. Okay, so now if you check very closely, the distance from here to this point, that is this line we drew, this one. Okay, the distance from here to this point is 13. So I'm going to measure from here to here 13. On the other side also, we'll measure 13. All right, so... Um, this is 10, 11, 12, 13. It is from here, not from here. From here, 13. So this is 13. Then also from here. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. This is 13. So you can draw this from here to here. Thick line. 13 and from here thick line so we have those parts now if you check very well you see this here this arc here and this arc the radius is 30 all right so this arc was struck from somewhere around this arc that is um, you have to needle somewhere around this arc so how do you get it now first of all you stretch 30 on your pair of compass like this so you measure 30 that's 30 all right then when you're done doing that just a minute okay now needle here where you measured uh, 13 the other time and cut this arc since we are doing it for both sides you do the same thing here you needle here cut the arc like this all right, so now don't alter this 30, all right? Now, this, these are your centers for what? Drawing the arc. So you need to at this point here and draw an arc, thin line for now. We're not going to draw it thick, thin line. So just draw this arc and rest. Then move over to this place and do the same thing. From here, thin line and... Uh, just rest. Make sure it is thin line for now. Thin lines for now. Okay. All right. So now if you check this here, this arc, which we are going to draw now, okay? The radius for drawing that arc. Now we are told it is obvious here that the center from which this arc was struck was uh, from this center here. So you can see the radius is what? Um, is that clear enough? Two and the three. Okay. 23 sorry uh sorry sorry it's 53 okay 53 so you're going to stretch 53 that's 5.3 you will need all at this center here and draw an arc to just hug okay and connect with these previous arcs you've drawn okay so we're going to measure 53 on our pair of compass that's 5.3 So there I have 5.3 on the dots, okay? So, needle here, 
at this center here because we were told that this is the center for drawing this arc. Look at the uh, the um, the arrow line. All right. So you needle here, and you have to be very careful. Just keep drawing until. Um, so can you see? Make sure you don't exceed because when you exceed, the lines will come out. Okay. So you just draw until it connects and you stop there. So you see this. Once it connects, you stop. So you can draw it thick line if you like. You stop. Like that. Okay. Stop there. Just the moment it connects. Alright. You stop. Now go back and stretch. Um, what do you have there? And stretch it 30 that you had initially. And make this thick line. So. Or you can just needle here. At the center here. Stretch to this arc. Which is 30. Alright. And make them thick lines like that then you do the same thing here and you make this thick line okay good so we are done with the head okay so what we're gonna do next is um we're gonna draw these two lines um we're gonna draw these two lines here okay these two parallel lines okay and the distance is what 34 all right okay so i'm sorry about that um distraction so now the distance between is 34 all right so if it is 34 that means half of it is what um 17 from here to this point is 17 is 17 so i'm going to draw a reference line and i will measure 34 on it 17 to the left 17 to the right and i'll draw lines parallel all right so I'll look for a perpendicular line somewhere. So I'll align my set square like this. Make sure it is what perpendicular to this line. Perpendicular. Then um, I will support with my ruler. Look for any convenient point to draw a line. So draw a thin line like this. Okay. Just a perpendicular line. Now measure 34 on it. That is 17 to the left and 17 to the right. So, align your your ruler. So this is 15, 16, 17 at the center. All right. 15, 16, 17 at the center. So I will dot zero. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will dot zero. And I will dot um. That's thirty four. That's three point four. So this is three point four. So the distance from here to here is what 34 that's 3.4 half to the right half to the left now the next thing i'll do is i'll transfer uh lines to those points so i will align my ruler like this my set square like this ensure it's properly aligned and uh, just transfer thin line to this point here where you dotted transfer a thin line there stop somewhere there move here transfer a thin line the stop all right so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to now apply the principle of tangency here now what can you see here now you can see there's an arc here right all right so if there is an arc here the question is um is it in this is another arc or if you like uh, an incomplete circle remember we're not talk, we're not making reference to the radius of this one not this one no, because it's actually touching this one the one that has a radius of 53 Okay, so your focus should be on the one that has 53, not the one of 30. It's not touching that one. If you check this other side, yes, it is touching the one of 30. So when we get here, we'll um, ensure that we make uh, do with 30. So but for here, it is 53. So the question is, this arc of radius 55, is it internal to this arc or external? Now, the answer is, it is what? Internal. Because I told you in the previous video that when you have an arc, such as a big arc like that, and you have a circle on the outside, the arc is internal to that circle. So that's the case we have here. So when it is internal, what is the rule? The rule is that when it is internal, you what? You add. So we're going to add the radius because it's what? Internal. Now, that is that would be 53 plus 55. You get that? 53 plus 55. 
Okay, so 53 plus 55 is 108. That is 108. Now, we are going to strike it from the center of this circle. No, this is an incomplete circle. It's an arc, okay? So we assume it's what? A circle. And it has a center here. Okay? With a radius of what? 53. So when we add these two red die, all right, we are going to strike an arc from this center of this particular arc here. So, stretch 108. That's... um. 10.8 okay so make sure it is exact so this is 10.8 now needle at the center here at the center here and strike an arc just strike a long arc like this and rest okay because we want to draw this part here, all right? So we've gotten the first arc. Now, you, if you check this again, it is touching an arc here, but it is connected to a straight line here. So what is the rule for drawing, uh, for getting the point from which we strike an arc uh, or a curve from a straight line? I told you in the previous video, that's a uh, part two, I guess, that where you have a straight line, what you do is what? You draw another line parallel to that straight line using the radius that is connecting the word the straight line so what is the radius connecting this arc okay to this straight line it is what 55 all right so from this line we are going to measure 55 and draw a line parallel to it wherever the line cuts this arc that is our what our midpoint for striking this arc i hope that's clear so 55 we're just going to use our ruler to measure it as 5.5 so I already have a reference line here, so I will just use this reference line here. All right, so I will place it like this. So this my sorry, like this. So this is zero, and this is five point five. That's fifty five. All right. So transfer line parallel to that to this line at that point 55 so align your set square very well okay and transfer lines to this point here and draw a line parallel to it now you discover that this line is cutting this arc at this point now this is your center for drawing this arc so what you do now is you now move over and stretch the radius of this arc so the radius of the arc is what 55 so we're going to stretch 55 that's um 5.5 so um we have um 5.5 here that's 55 all right needle here at this point do not make any further adjustment so you discover that when you draw when you draw this it will just hug and connect this straight line without entering or coming out so you see that's perfect all right so you, you, it's not going in it's not going in it's not coming out it's exact so that means uh, the construction is very very correct so um, I also expect you to have same outcome all right now do not erase all of these lines this art you see here because that is what the examiner will actually look out for it's not just enough to draw any um, just draw a spanner okay they will look out for these uh, arcs all right all right so we are going to apply same thing to the other side here all right, so this one, the radius is what? 20. So we're going to draw a line parallel to this line. Distance of what? 20. That's one. Then, again, this arc is what? Internal to this arc. So it's like this is an arc, and this is what? A circle. So it is internal. So we apply the internal what? Rule. Uh, when it's an internal arc. So that's addition. So that means we're going to add the radius of this and the radius of this. That's 20 plus... Um, uh, 30 plus 20, that's uh, 50. So you stretch 50 on your ruler so this is this is 50 sorry about that trying to get it correctly okay so that's 50 there now where is the center of this act don't miss that center now the center for this act is here don't miss not here here so with the 50 you are stretched needle here and draw an arc 
stop there okay now measure like i told you 20 because you, this this radius here is what 20 all right so measure a distance of 20 and draw a parallel line so from here here being zero from this line okay this is our 20 that's two all right so we have two from a distance from this point align your set square with any of the straight lines here and transfer a line to that two this is it here now draw a straight line until it cuts this arc once it cuts this arc that's your center so what is the radius the radius is what 20 so you stretch 20 your pair of compass so this is 20 here that's two centimeters okay um sorry i'm trying to be sure that this is exact all right so that's two then with that two you need to here at this point of intersection okay now if you have constructed correctly once you draw the arc it will just connect without going in or coming out all right so if you have tried this and yours didn't connect you can try again okay start the construction all over again you probably made a mistake somewhere so when you are done with this you cannot connect these lines you cannot draw them straight lines with thick lines with thick lines and that is it that's the spanner okay okay so the next thing you do is you dimension now let me uh sound a note of warning once you're done constructing do not clean these construction lines because that's what the examiner will look out for all of these this arc how you got this arc this all of this okay and dimension properly all right don't erase any of the line now here is your assignment your assignment is you are going to draw this head on the other side so let me give you a distance so use a distance of say 180 so from here you measure 180 that's 18 from this center here okay measure 180 okay so whatever you have 180 all right that would be your corresponding point here all right so draw the other head now the other head shouldn't face this side so let me give you a tip so all you have to do is turn this paper upside down all right and at that point reproduce what you did here just do everything there so the the head should be facing this side so when you are done with the assignment i need you to um send them to me so i can see and grade you all right if you check my about info on my youtube channel the about info you see my whatsapp number there send your assignments to me through whatsapp and um so i can reach you all right thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video i need you to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you know anyone that is in need of these lessons please encourage them to subscribe to this channel as more lessons will be uploaded thank you for watching see you next time have a nice day